Good morning. It's Monday, February 20th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Holy Ground, and our scripture is Acts chapter 7. Forty years later, in the desert near Mount Sinai, an angel appeared to Moses in the flame of a burning bush. When Moses saw it, he was amazed at the sight. As he went to take a closer look, the voice of the Lord called out to him, I am the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses shook with terror and did not dare to look. Then the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals, for you are standing on holy ground. I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groans and have come down to rescue them. Now go for I'm sending you back to Egypt. Even current day images of Mount Sinai leave no doubt Moses was in a wilderness place. After being kicked out of Pharaoh's palace, the former Jewish foundling child raised as Pharaoh's grandson, spent 40 years in the shadow of Sinai, living a quiet life as a quote-unquote nobody shepherd. Then came that burning bush which just wouldn't leave him in peace. It's been that kind of time in Wilmore, Kentucky the last week. Wilmore is the site of Asbury University where revival broke into a chapel service and has grown stronger each day with no sign of letting up. Revival is kind of that way. It shows up unannounced and takes over. Not having been there, I'm not about to offer any opinion on what's happening, nor if the Asbury Revival is a genuine move of God or perhaps a cultural phenomenon spurred by generations of longing for revival. Either way, it's sweet music to hear of young people desiring God's presence in their lives. Like Moses, the young people of this century, as well as us older birds, have been in a dry spiritual wilderness for too long. My prayer is that this local event in Wilmore spreads like a wildfire across this nation and the entire globe. May there be a new awakening to God's presence, love, and holiness. May the fire of heaven's glory light us up to prevail against the gates of hell. For you today, one consistent fact about revival is that it always begins with brokenness, a heart that cannot live in its own death-loving sinfulness any longer. That is the place where God shows up and is holy ground. And that is exactly what John the Baptist meant when he shouted out from a wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. What way? It's that pathway straight into our hearts so he can revive us. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.